Hi guys, this is the 100 day project, the series where I do a small craft project every day for 100 days in a row. So even if you only have 30 minutes a day to spend crafting, these videos are perfect for you. So I am hoping they will inspire you and motivate you and maybe you can even craft along with me. So welcome, my name is Margaret and I am from the Netherlands. Hey guys, good to have you all back and happy Easter. Happy Easter Sunday, guys. I have Victoria on my desk and Victoria is supposed to be an Easter spring journal. Guess what? Today is Easter, so she should have been finished. But, you know, life happened and Gunter and Gretchen and such. Uh, but today I want to make the signature. Yeah, I have taken out lots of uh, pretty papers, books, all sorts of stuff that the, that we can make a signature with, and also have some beautiful ephemera. Maybe have I have time to put in some lovely ephemera, but you know, for now, let's work on Victoria. Now for the supplies I'm using today, uh, let me first show you the tools. I'm going to use my book binding kit. Yes. It's an awl or a pokey tool. If you ho don't have this, maybe have something that's pointy and pokey, like an ice pick, barbecue skewer, pff, whatever you want. Um, a big needle, yeah, with a sort of bigger hole, just a big needle. You probably have one of those. And I am using uh, this pink um, wax thread. Yes, that is perfect for book binding. You don't need this, loves. No, just do um, embroidery floss or, or something else, yeah. Something else that is sturdy. Uh, I'm probably going to use some glue and scissors and a ruler. Just, you know, the normal stuff. A paper trimmer, perhaps. But the most important thing, of course, is the papers that I'm going to put in here. So what I want to do is uh, take walk you through sort of the process of uh, picking out papers and cutting them to size. Maybe even hinging them together to make a signature yeah so, so let me show you the books and the papers that i'm using look at all the loveliness yes so much i have i've picked out so much guys now normally i use a lot of digitals uh when i am making a journal because i love playing with digitals but i also know that not all of you have a printer or access to digitals so i really wanted to show Lots of different sorts of paper and and stuff that you can put into a journal without using digitals. However, I am using this one, of course. We made this a couple of weeks ago. This is from my spring Easter kit. I made a lovely folio. Yes, and decided I wanted to have this as the center of the signature. Yes, uh, because we need to close it up. In, and that can only be in the center of a signature. Yeah. I think we'll make one signature, probably. Yes, we're just going to do one. <clears throat> so this is the only digital uh, that I'm using. I will, of course, link it below for you guys. Yeah, and also the freebie that comes with this kit. Okay, now, so for the other papers, let me start with uh, the books that I have picked out. Now, I know these are probably books that you can get anywhere else um, in the world other than the Netherlands and such. But it's just to give you an idea of what you could use. Another item that I forgot, washi tape. going to use some washi tape and I'll explain a little bit later. Now, for the books, I have taken out books um, with all shapes and sizes. And I did that deliberately because I wanted to tell you when I started junk journal making, I limited myself only to books that had the exact sort of same size as my journal because I didn't know how to make them fit otherwise. Well, I've picked up some tips and tricks along the way to make basically any size of page uh, fit into your uh, junk journal. So I'm going to share with you the tips and tricks that I have picked up. Now, for the books themselves, this is a longer one. It had, this is an older book that, well, it is an older book, but it's a book that I've had for a long time because I used to rip out pages. Yes, I don't do this anymore. I take out signatures much better, but it has these lovely illustrations in them. Yeah, so I think I'm going to take some of these out. This says home sweet home. It is a watercolored sort of images. But I do like them. They have some gardening images in them. They're, I think, maybe a 10 by 10 or uh, 8 by 8. 8 by 8 size, which is an odd size. But I love the images on here. So we're going to take out some of this. 
Fantastic book. Again, it's a gardening sort of diary with these illustrations. And then you have some writable paper on here. I think that is fantastic. Yeah, so I want to take out some pages out of this book. Very old one. Well, it's not the original one because the original one is from 1909 and this is from 1974. Which is old, yes. Yeah. I'm not going to use this, no. But there's one page in here. And this one. And this also says, on Easter, on Easter we do egg hunting and such. Look, yeah. So I really want to use this page somewhere. Um, again, sort of an oblong uh, book, like, you know, in a rectangle. Love it. This is all with hand writing um, in it. And again, this is all for gardening and apparently coffee. Okay. Yeah, so I want to use one of these. Uh, one of Leonard de Vries' uh, books. Um, picture, book, uh, picture book of Antipo. Antipo. Yes, I, I found one the other day. Um, well, I have five now. <laughs> I have five. Look at the wonderful images. Yes, so I'm going to pick some out here. It's already completely falling apart. Again, another sort of diary book. This is the flower diary book. Oh, I also love this paper. Uh, but what it has are these. Um, I don't like the photographs. I don't like them. But I do like this bit here. Yeah, like sort of the calendar with the illustration. So let's see if we can um, utilize these. I think we can. And then this big book from Moyline Bastan, one of my favorite authors. Look at this. It's just all sorts of gorgeousness. Yeah. Uh, normally I use these books. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, yes. I need to bookmark it with something. I'm just going to put this in. Perfect. Yes. For, you know, spring. Uh, I'm going to use some pages out of here and not just cut out. Uh, normally I just fussy cut them. Oh, look at the tulips. So fantastic. Yes, very, very spring-like. So that's it for the books that I am using. Um, I know you don't have these books, but it's just about the shapes and sort of the illustrations in them. Go through your book collection, see what you can find. Now, for the other papers. Now, for the other papers, I probably won't use all of them because <laughs> I have way too much on my desk. But I just want to show you what you could use. I have this old sort of stationery set. Lovely envelope with the beautiful... Oh, um, pink flowers on the inside and then this is the writing paper and it has all sorts of spring uh, florals on here so I thought that might look nice uh, picked this up the other day this is a menu card which would be perfect for you know an Easter brunch or something but you know you can fold it in and have it as a page or just any other sort of postcard that you have I have some tissue paper. Now, I never made a page out of tissue paper. But I, I can't see why not. Why not? If we reinforce it with some washi tape. So maybe some tissue paper. Yes. I have a cake doily. Yes, you have round ones. You have heart shaped ones. Big ones, small ones. I happen to have this one. And I think it would make for a lovely uh, sort of page. Or part of a page. I have some wallpaper. Wallpapers. Love using wallpaper. Yes. Um, with some florals and some pink stuff. Then I have these birthday calendars. I don't know if this is a Dutch thing. But in most Dutch toilets. Yes. You have like a calendar. Where you put the birthday dates on. Yeah. So when you are doing your business on the toilet. You'll be like. Oh. Oh, my auntie whatever it's birthday is going to be tomorrow or what have you <laughs> so yeah i think it's a very dutch thing but i took out this one that says march and april that's okay but i really wanted to use the card on here because it has an easter egg i think these are supposed to be hummels yeah really really cool so gonna have this on here and i found another birthday <laughs> calendar i actually don't use them I don't have one in my toilet. I should have one. Uh, but I pick these up um, in thrift shops all the time. May, April. Really, really lovely. With the bunnies. I have a piece of... This is a piece of scrapbook paper from uh, Minte. Uh, it came with an order. You could, but I thought it might look nice. I have some book pages that I already had cut out. These two are from Edith Holden. 
yes from a from a paperback april and may this one is from the victorian flower album the book that i absolutely love i might use one of those and i really love this page with spring on here but i absolutely do not want to fold her in half or do anything other than have the whole image on the page so i want to use this then i have this sort of paper that is for cupboards to put on on shelves in cupboards i believe i believe that's the what this paper is used for but it's lovely with all the florals on them yeah so why not let's see if we can use some of this and this is just some design paper from a paper pack um, it's a little bit lighter than scrapbook paper another page that i found from uh marjolein bastem book love this one then coffee dyed yes um i have a well, this is probably an avocado dyed envelope uh, with a doily on them. No, I did not make this myself. No, I had, had my friend make some. <laughs> and then this one and with another one with the doily. So coffee dyed paper, um, lined paper from a book has some lovely, um, it's from a notebook, some lovely pink sort of faux stitching all around it. Some more stationery. Yeah, this stationery set. And this is actually a paper a paper placemat. Why not use it? Why not? Because it's gorgeous. Now, for some sort of non-paper items, I want to use this doily. Yes, just as is. Why not have this in a signature? Um, I know you cannot write on it, but you can sort of glue on it. Or, you know, why not? Why not? I might use this one. And this is actually a paper table runner. Paper table runner. It's it's a lovely feel. It's like velvet. And has all these florals on here. So yes. Don't limit yourself to only paper paper. See what sort of acts like paper. Yeah. Like wallpaper or paper, paper runner. Um, uh, cake doily. You know. Find some stuff. Try it out guys. You never know what might happen. Okay, um, that's it for all the papers that I'm using. I'm going to uh, pick some of them out and then make them fit into the journal. Now, just in case you have not seen any of my sort of signature making videos before, I'm going to show you how I take out pages from a book. I have a book with a bound signature and one with a glued, uh, with glued pages, yes. Uh, these pages are all glued. See, they're all sort of glued together behind here somewhere so when i want to take a page out i sort of break the book i just do sort of this try to gently sort of break it see then they all will sort of come apart well the page that you wanted just bend it slightly try to break it up and then you could carefully see carefully <laughs> take one out you can just rip one out. It, if you do it carefully, it won't uh, rip. So that's how you do it with um, sort of glued books. Glued books. And then these um, have signatures in them. And if you look closely, closely, you can see sort of the centers of the signature. I'm sorry. As well. See? These all have signatures. So I'm going to open it up at um, May or April. Yes. This. Oh, well. Hello, May. I want this page to see where the center is. Just go look for it. Because at one point, yes, you will find the threads. See the threads here. And what I do, I have small scissors, tweezer scissors, eyeless scissors. You can name them whatever you want. <laughs> They're tweezer scissors. And then I just snip all the threads. Sometimes these are very easy, like now. Sometimes they're a little bit harder to reach. Yes. So, taking out this one. I don't want this page because this says March. Let's see what this page says. April. Oh, I could use this page. And this one said May. There you go. So I'm going to either use this page or this page. Yeah. So that's how you take out pages from a book with signatures or a book that is glued. Yeah. 
So these are all the pages I have this far. Yes, um, this one that said uh, April. Yeah, but if we take out my um, journal, uh, well, you could do it like you could do it like so. I don't think so because I want this to be a writable paper. But it is see, it is too big, so we have to make it shorter, smaller at one point. That's okay. Then these pages are lovely, but they're not sort of stuck together. So what I want to do is stick them onto something else. This is this is wallpaper. Love it. I'm just going to probably fold it in like so. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. Yep, folding this in. This is from the birthday calendar. Um, I think I am going to fold it in, but this might be to um tall then so what i'm gonna do i'm going to remove the bit that says birthday calendar and i'm going to remove this and then let's see how big it is if we can just fold it in or if we have to make like a flappy somewhere i do want to use the frame that is around here so i'm just gonna cut as close to the frame as i possibly can now, let's see this will work this will work also cutting up a, a bit from the bottom okay so if we fold it in now and hopefully it is the right size let's see yes see fits in you don't see it anymore Ta -da. That's how we fix this. This is an okay size. Just have it in here. This is an okay size. I love this picture. Now, the problem is I wanted to have this as the center signature. Yeah. Um, and I do not want to sort of cut this up. So I'm either, I am going to fold it. It is either going to be uh, a signature, uh, the, the center of, a sig of another signature. <laughs> Or I'm going to have this as the center of the signature. It does sort of fold really well. See? If you have this as a normal page, this page looks okay. It doesn't, it's not cut off or anything. And also this page, it just looks okay. So we're going to have it as a normal page. We're going to have it as a normal page. Again, with this one, I'm just going to fold it in. I think it'll, it'll be fine. This was like an oblong book, like a rectangle. So if we fold it like so, the the text isn't sort of flipped upside down. See? Then we have this one. That was, um, well, I think the length might be okay. The length might be okay. Uh, but it is too wide. I really want to have this piece. So I'm just going to fold it in. Like so. Yes. So this is one page. This is another page. It says May, so that is lovely. But then we have this shorter one. But we'll fix it. We'll fix it, lovely. Yes. Then I have this one from um, Leonard de Vries' uh, book. Yeah. These have two images on them. I am just going to fold it in like so. Because why not? Why not? I'm going to have it as a page this way. See? It looks okay. It can be sideways, guys. It's not a problem to have it sideways. Love this one. Yes, it is too tall. So, in a perfect situation, this text was below here. Yes, and this was on top there. It isn't. It isn't. So, in that case, i just going to cut this piece off. I would have loved to have this below here. Because I also wanted to make, like, a pocket... But apparently not from this page. Yes, I'm again folding it in half here. Well, not in half. Look at Chicky. <laughs> so one page is smaller. The other page is larger. Then we have the stationery set that folds out. It will be a nice fold out. We have an envelope. I'm going to utilize this as well. This is going to be... Um, if we fold it in, too tall. So at one point, I'm going to have it as sort of a tuck spot thingy. But don't know where yet. So let's just see. How about this one? How tall is this one? Or big? What if we fold it in? Mm, 
it's a little bit too big so i need to take a tiny bit off i'm going to cut it a tiny bit but the length is okay now this one is very big yes very big page uh it is too long and too tall so what i want to do is make a pocket i am first going to just flip it up yes the flowers are upside down but we don't mind that's okay yes and then i'm going to fold it like so this is just going to be one page is this wide enough oh, it could be a little bit wider this is one page of the journal did i make it too wide no and then this one is too much of course um i'm gonna do it like so yes i'm just gonna fold this in have this as sort of a flip out yes so it's going to be one page and then this is going to be another page that you can sort of fold out have pocket here and here which is fantastic why not what happens if we fold this in? Is this too wide? I don't think so. No, it's perfect. Um, a four size. Well, we can just fold it in. We're just folding this in. There you go. Oh, I have too many pages. I know. I know. Really want to utilize this one. But also do not want to lose this. So how am I going to do this? Well, um, I am going to make a fold here. Folding this over. Yes. And here, I'm just using my ruler as sort of a, a guideline. Have it straight, love. Is that straight? Well, straight-ish. Yep. Lovely page. Will it fit? Probably will. Yes. Yes. So we're either going to hinge something on here. Probably. And make this into a pocket. Yeah. That's how we're going to do it. Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything. Hopefully everything. I'm hoping it all fits. Probably won't. But, you know, I'll leave some stuff out then. Oh, no. I needed to fold this one. I really want to use this one. Um, I'm going to look on the other side of the page. Love this page. I really want to have this intact. Yeah. So what I want to do is fo just fold this over. There you go. So that it will fit. It will fit. Yeah. Was it too long? I don't think so. If it is too long, I can trim it for a little bit, yeah. No, it will work. It will work, yeah. We can make this an, into a, a talk spot pocket or or a what have you. Let's just see uh, what works best. I think I have everything in the right order. Yes, and it all fits. I had to trim one page. This one was a little bit too wide, so I just I just took a piece off. Lovies, that's okay. You can trim it. Okay, let's go. Let's just go through it. And I need to sort of hinge uh, some things and make pockets and such. Yes. So I'm starting off with the doily. There you go. Then the coffee light paper. Then we have this page. Yes, where we made pockets. So I'm just going to take this piece out. Yes. And I'm just going to glue here, here and here. To make the pockets. piece of glue here just a strippy here here and here so now we glued all of these up yes right so and we're back next page yes i need to hinge this I cut this piece off, guys. It just didn't work for me. So this is just now a smaller page. I need to hinge it over here. 
So again, I'm taking this whole bit out. This was the page from the Victorian Flower Album. See? Yeah. So <clears throat> I'm going to have this as probably a pocket. Yeah. Are you? Oh, the flap out is so nice. No, it's going to be a pocket. Don't look on the inside, <laughs> lovely. Just going to make this into a pocket. And we this one we can embellish with lovely stuff. Yes. And then I need to attach this page here. Yeah. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue there. I'm just going to glue it on. And I'm not going to glue it all the way to the center. I'm just going to leave a little bit, like an eighth of an inch or something. Oh, quarter inch. Making sure it will still fit in your journal then. Yes. But this doesn't look fantastic, does it? No. So now I'm taking out some washi. Why not just put some extra, extra washi just on top to, you know... Secure it a little bit better. And also to add a little bit. Look at that. Oh, fantastic. Just amazing. There we go. I'm just flipping it over. And then on the inside, I'm probably going to do the same. Way too long. Taking a piece off. Oops. Can we flip this? Oh, yeah. Even looks interesting. There you go. Let go, please. Thank you. I have a piece of tape left. Well, we might find a spot. Okay. So we just sort of glued it, hinged it. Looks interesting. You can do some stamping here. Whatever you wish. So that's for this page. Why isn't this glued down? Art would have glued it down by now. There are uh, the differences between these positives and negatives. I love both. I really love both. I would prefer to have both. <laughs> um, the wallpaper. We're not doing anything with the wallpaper. Well, we're going to embellish it later. This was the piece of uh, writing paper, stationery. This was the paper sort of table runner. Another page that I folded in half. I like the chickens. Yes, this was from the birthday calendar. This was from the Limit the Fleece book. Then this was one that we folded in. Um, yeah, let's just find what was going on here. Yes, we folded this in. And also, I wanted to attach this Edith Holden book. I had to cut it a little bit to size, so I cut a little bit off. And I think I just want to glue it on, but as a pocket, yes? So, what I'm doing is... Yes, it's this line here. Putting a bit of glue here, yes. On the bottom, not in the center center, lovies, because we also need to sort of... Um, am I in frame? Yeah. Sewing the signature. So I'm leaving a little bit from the edge. Now what you could do. Are we going to do this? We could cut this off. But I don't think so because I love the image on this side. So we're not cutting it off. No, we are not. Okay, this page didn't need anything. This page didn't need anything. I I will have this um, as the sig as, as the middle of the signature. Yeah. This one worked. This one worked. This one worked. This worked. Nothing to do here. Nothing to do here. Wow. Oh, this is nice. It's like a big flappy fold out thingy they're white now well they're sort of more cream colored and we made this pocket and this is going to be a flip out pocket yeah okay i think we're done see we made all the pages fit 
I did have to take out some pages, guys, because it was getting really, really fat. <laughs> so, yes, everything is in order. I'm going to take out some clamps, put it together, and then we're going to sew it in. I can imagine if you've never sewn in a signature, this will look daunting to you. Now, this is, I think, the hardest signature that I have ever had to sew in. So, um... Yes, this is going to be a little bit more difficult than if you're using less papers, normal papers. But that's okay. I'm just going to show you the basics. It will be less difficult probably with your signature. This is the middle of the signature. Yes, let's have it the right side up. Yep, and there we go. Be sure that everything is really snug, tucked, uh, tucked in. <clears throat> also that all the pages are the right side up. Yes. Now, I'm going to, I have very big paper clips. Uh, if you don't have big, you can use smaller paper clips, you can use clamps, you can use whatever you want, lobbies, just to sort of hold all the papers together. And a piece of doily. Yes, there's one. I'm going to flip it and do the top side on the other side. Just hopefully now you have all the papers sort of stuck together. I am not I am not taking any chances. This really needs to be um, stuck down. I'm taking out some more paper clips. Here. And here. Yes. Okay. What's the right side? This is the right side up. Yes. So we're going to put it in the center of our journal. Is this the center? Now this is a fabric um, journal cover, so it doesn't really have a spine, which is a little bit more difficult, but it is in. See, nothing is sticking out. Again, I'm using the clamps to secure it in the um, cover itself. And that is because I have so much in here. Yes. Right, so fingers crossed. <laughs> Pokey tool, embroidery, not embroidery floss, a wax thread, and my biggest needle. Yes, I'm going to take um, two and a half times one, two and a half the length of your um, what's we call it journal cover. Yeah. Now, because there are papers in here that do not have the entire length, but go about here, what I want to do is make the signature, the stitching, just within this sort of frame. Yeah? In that case, I'll know I have every paper sort of bound there. Okay, I'm going to put this in. This is just preparation. This is not the hard part. <laughs> no, it's not. This is going to be the hard part. Take your pokey tool or any other device that you have that can, you know, punch holes. I did this wrong. This needs to be opened up. Sorry, lovies. I took one page too many. That's because of this File folder thingy, the, the folio that we made. Never put in a folio before, but hopefully it'll work. Need, a, need one more clamp, just in case. <laughs> okay, don't poke holes when it's flat. Po poke holes when it's sort of standing up. Yes, I'm eyeballing the middle. If you're making just one signature, you can eyeball the middle. I'm just twisting my pokey tool around and hoping it will land in the center it does it does it does it does yes making a big hole normally i would make smaller holes but these are so many pages i'm going to go about two and a half inches below and doing the same thing lots of pages just hope i'm just hoping this will work. And then the same amount uh, to the top. Again, at an angle. Just twist it. Twist it. There you go. We made the holes. My big needle. I'm starting from the middle in the center. 
hoping to find the same hole on the outside again yeah pulling it through yes not all the way lovies just you know leave a bit leave a bit like the width of your journal you can choose now to go up or to go down hopefully i'll find yes i made very big holes now this tricky part oh yes it got it went through <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy. I was like, can we manage this? It does. It, it worked. So that's why I made very big holes. Because there's so much paper in here. Putting it tight. Yes. Don't go back in the center. Go back to the last one. Yes. That also worked. Yep. There we go. And then we have to go back in the center again. And this one, this is a little bit tricky. I'm hoping I will see my needle. Yes, come up somewhere. Oh, I'm so happy I made these holes really, really big. I think that is was the best thing to do. Putting it through. Now, both the ends of the threads are on one side. I don't prefer that. So I'm just going to put this under here so now we have the threads on either side yeah i'm just gonna quickly check if this is tight enough i just i think i need it a little, a little bit tighter yes there you go and then you're gonna tie a double knot not knot knot and another knot there you go here goes nothing <laughs> I'm just going to take out all the paper clips. If you're using paper clips, lovies, be careful. Yes, lift it up. Otherwise, it will rip your paper. These won't because these have some plastic coating on them. These ones, please be careful. If you do not rip your paper. There you go. Oh, wow. It does feel lovely. It feels lovely. Did it work? Oh, and it worked. It worked. I'm going to show you end result here she is victoria and all her loveliness yes um it's been a while since i made this fabric cover this is from a bubble envelope i will link that video below guys in case you missed it or you were like when was this well a while ago a while ago we open her up yes okay um a big pocket here <laughs> and i need to put a button here that was an idea i remember the idea so the first page is actually oh it's ripped here but that's okay oh look at this yes oh uh, okay we're just gonna do this see <laughs> fantastic and looks lovely why not our first page is actually like a sort of doily type of embroidered thing lovely right why not have it as a page yeah why not why not then a coffee dyed well an avocado dyed page with a with another doily some um lovely placement a paper placement yeah with a pocket we made a pocket then we had this one we hinged it just attach it to another piece of paper we just cut the piece off that we didn't like decorated it it's lovely also on the other side Wallpaper, you have two different types of wallpaper. This is the sort of more modern wallpaper where the paper is a little bit more flexible. See, I also have some very old wallpaper that is made of sort of real sort of cardstocky paper. Um, in time, they will crack when you bend them. So I really prefer these sort of wall papers. Yes. And then this was a piece of a stationery that is already really lovely. You can journal on the back if you are a real journaler. Then this was the piece of the table runner. Oh, it's like velvet. It's so, so cute. Yeah. I found most of these lovies in a thrift shops and such. Now, this was um, a piece of the Marline Bastem book. It is a shorter piece of paper. If you wanted to add something else, you could, you know, make it longer. Add something like an envelope. See, if you're like, oh, I want to put an envelope here that I made. You could just sort of attach the envelope like so and make it a little bit longer. Why not? Hinge it. Um, a piece of the birthday calendar. Oh, look at those. So cute, right? Yes. It is glued here. You can flip it up and have a secret journal spot here. Fantastic, right? Yes. 
a blank page. A bla Do not be afraid of blank pages because this is perfect for all the embellishing that I'm going to do. Then at the free uh, book page, another sort of blank page. Love this. With the, I just loved. I love handwritten pages because uh, my handwriting is rubbish. So if I can ha add handwriting in a, in a different way, like so, perfect, perfect. And it's all sort of journaling. The menu cards with lovely space to write on. I love this. This is uh, the actual title of the of the Ottensine book. Yeah. <laughs> my um my folio thing oh we need to close it up yes because why not you open it up there you go all sorts of loveliness in the center yes i will also link this video below guys yeah there we go yep and then the other page of the Ottensine uh book with the easter eggs yes do all sorts of lovely decorating here um my edith holden page i don't mind this it just looks interesting and then we made a pocket here perfect we're gonna make much more a lot more pockets guys and then this was another piece of the um, uh whatchamacallit uh birthday calendar yes you can put all sorts here if you want to chickens and, well that was a coincidence that the other part of the this page was with the chicken and the little chickadees yeah i oh, love this Yes, and um, a flip out thing. Yep, uh, the wallpaper, so you can put lots in here, and another pocket here. And oh, love this one! And then a flip out pocket, pocket here, pocket here, just looks lovely. Coffee dyed paper, the other part of the doily. Let's just, yeah, put this in here, and another pocket. Guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was a little bit uh, sort of in informative for you. How to pick out a signature. How to make the pages work for you. And well, this was the most difficult signature for me to ever sew in. So yay for me. Um, I will fill her up in the next two weeks. Yes, I want to sort of alternate the videos with um, Gunther and Victoria. Victoria and Gunther. Well... Where's Gretchen and all of this? <laughs> Guys, thank you for hanging out with me on this Easter Sunday. Have a wonderful, wonderful uh, Easter holiday. I'll be back again tomorrow. Uh, normally, I would say I'll be back with uh, Monday's Roxy's Weekly Challenge. I saw the video. I am very sorry. I cannot do that video. No, because you need some sort of foam and she made stamps and I don't have the materials. And uh, honestly, I ha don't want to make my own stamps because I am probably rubbish at it. So I'm going to do something different, but really, really nice. So hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, bye guys.